in the world is this? It dinged. It's not a muskie. It's not a bass. It's not a pike. Yeah. What Probably. in the world could this be? Whoa! Or a burbot. Whoa! What'd you get? Diamond burbot! Oh, it is a burbot. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. My name is Darth Sloan, your official partnered content creator for Expansive Worlds, and what a surprise that burr bot was. Huge. I was out here fishing for tiger muskie, actually, in this same location. Wasn't even really aware at the time that this was a burr bot spot, because I'd always fished a couple other spots for burr bot. And then after looking, I was going to report this to the official angler discord as a new Burbot spot, but as we got to looking, it is a known location, sort of. Uh, they have been more reported down here, a little bit lower, but apparently you can catch, you know, tiger muskie as well anywhere through here, I believe. I believe, you know, they get reported here. Other people catch them here, they catch them up here, they catch them over here, catch them over here, talking about tiger muskie or any fish in general, basically. And so you're not going to report a new location when it's just that close to it anyway. So I caught mine right here where I'm sitting right now. That uh, diamond bear bot that you just saw that was just a half pound off the community record. So that was a big one. I also caught it on something that I normally don't fish for a bear bot with. And for this guide, I'm actually going to tell you to use liver. But you can use minnow, obviously, because that's what I caught that on. And I caught it on a size four minnow, which is a gold, gold and above size that you want to use. Now, five is silver, six is bronze. And here's what I like to do. I like to, now it's not quite dark yet. It's 1738 right now, actually. So I'm a little early. We may not catch very many burbot in the making of this video, but you don't get a lot of time this might be a burr bot right here, actually. You don't get a lot of time to fish at night. Unfortunately, that is one thing I wish they would kind of change. This is a burr bot. So they will start biting. And of course, that one was right in the middle of the day. So right here, we've already caught a gold burr bot in the making of this video. Guys, this spot is hot. This spot is so hot right now. Look at that. A gold, a gold burr bot to start with right off the bat using the silver hook. We're in that 54 degree range. That's where we want to be. That's that's in the range. Now, this is a hot topic right now. Let me adjust, let, let me just address that real quick. Before we hop into it, if you would, please hit that like, subscribe, notify bell. And I want to talk about the temperature thing because there's a lot of people I think that are just misunderstanding um, and saying, oh, it's herd management 2.0, all this. Guys, listen, anything that works I've, you've got the naysayers on one side that believe it doesn't work. And it may not, maybe I'm just getting lucky because there's all kinds of factors involved in this. But here's the thing. It is not hurting me. It's not hurt me. And they're saying, uh, before you go down this rabbit hole, before you do all this stuff, don't waste your time. Blah, blah, blah. I'm not wasting time. It has taken zero time for me to do this strategy. Whether it works or not, it's work, something's working for me, okay? It, it is working for me. Let me get my line back out there. It does me no good my line sitting out of the water. But let me let me explain something to you guys. And I've, I've had this conversation with other people that know what they're doing, that catch diamonds. And let me tell you why they're catching diamonds. And those that make the comment, why well, catch diamonds anyway, blah, blah, blah. That's fine, and you will. You won't catch them outside that temperature though. The temperatures that are being re recorded on that chart, you're not you're not going to catch them outside of that. Uh, people are saying, well, the temperature thing don't matter. It fluctuates. It does fluctuate. It does from place to place. If the fish comes from the left, if it comes from far off the right, there is a big attraction radius. If it comes from outside that, it's going to, it's not the temperature of where the, where it, the float is, for example. I don't believe it is. I think that's why you get different temperatures. But I'm in a good spot right now for Burbot. We already caught a goad and we're hitting the right temperature there. So I'm happy with where I'm casting right now. If I were not, if it were too warm, 
I would cast a little to the left, I'd cast a little to the right, I'd cast on the other side of my boat until I start hitting those temperatures that I like, okay? And then there's also the big attraction radius that is an effect, that's a factor that you can attract a fish from a different temperature that's gonna swim over slowly and the temperature is going to be random at that point. It's gonna be, oh, well, it's two degrees warmer. You cast it in the same spot, it's two degrees warmer. That's why it's coming from another spot. Listen, I'm not arguing with anybody about it. And people can say, oh, it doesn't work if they want to. I'm catching diamonds. I'm catching more diamonds than I've ever caught. I'm going to continue to do it. Um, I believe with what I see with my own eyes. That's what I believe. And that's how I'm going to fish. Everybody else out there, when you're catching your diamonds, you're doing what I'm doing right now. You're going to a diamond location. Or if you catch it in a new location, you report it to the Discord at a new location. That's fine. I've done that myself. That's what we're asking people to do. But I'm in a, a known diamond location right now for Burbot. Already caught one here. I've already caught a goad just now here, and it's not even dark yet. And the one I caught was during the day. But I've got a good temperature here. Now, those that are catching diamonds, well, I've caught a diamond. I didn't pay attention to the temperature. Well, guess what? Go back and look at your screenshot. Your temperature is going to say that it was those temperatures that we have in our chart. And speaking of the chart, here it is. Let me pull it up for you. I'm gonna go in my Discord. Here's what I have to say. It's not hurt me. I'm fishing the same way you are. I'm going to a place to fish that is a known diamond location. You can cast around there and when you catch your diamonds and you don't pay attention to the temperature, You've just cast it on the right side of the boat and you caught it. And you're going to. You're going to continue to do that. What I'm doing is I cast around until I find that temperature in that diamond location. Because all the other stuff is correct for a diamond, right? All the vegetation, they can be caught there. They've been reported caught there before. So that's what I do. I fish there. I know you can catch a diamond there. And then the only thing I'm doing differently I keep casting around in a circle and then once I find that temperature I stop right there and I keep casting at that spot that's it that's it you other guys are, are doing the same thing and fan, we call it fanning when you cast around in a circle around your boat you're all doing the same thing and you don't realize it you're casting around your boat until you're hitting those spots to where the fish start biting real good and you start catching bigger fish and you keep casting at that same spot, guess what? It's because the temperature's right in that spot. You're just not knowingly checking a chart to see that that's where it is. You're not fishing any different than I am. Sorry to say, but we're all fishing the same way. <laughs> I'm just paying attention to the chart, so maybe I hit that spot quicker. We're still fishing the same way. There's nothing different to the strategy. It's That's the thing, that's, it's, it's funny. Man, you know, putting it in alphabetical order would have been smart, wouldn't it? So, yeah, look there. 50.28 to 54.2 Fahrenheit. That goad we just caught. Now, I have caught goads outside of these temperatures, though. I will, I will say that. I've just not caught diamonds or seen anybody else that has. If you do have any, let me know. I'll update the chart. I'm sure somebody out there has caught one at 50.1 or 54.5 or something like that. And we'll update the chart as we go. But those are the temperatures that have been recorded. The only difference is people are saying, we just don't know what to do with that data. That data has been collected for almost a year now. We just didn't know what to do with it. Uh, and that's fine. We're figuring out what to do with it. And I think I've got a pretty good beat on it. Now here's the argument. Did I get it because of the temperatures? Or did I get it because I was fishing in a known diamond spot? Either way, I don't really care. The, the big thing is I'm fishing diamond locations. So everything that we can't see, all the vegetation and nutrients and flow of the water and all that stuff that's underneath the water that we can't tell. So that's the one thing with temperature, we can see that on the screen when we pull the fish up. We see the temperature. We're just unsure what to do with it, right? Well, I cast around until I start getting those temperatures and then I keep casting in that same spot. And I'm telling you, it works. I've been catching diamonds a lot quicker doing that. So, do it, don't do it, 
either way, you're going to those known diamond locations and you're casting around in your boat. And when you pull it in and look at that temperature, it's fallen in the temperatures that are listed on those charts. So is there something to it? I think so. Um, either way, people can play how they want to. I know that myself using this strategy is absolutely 100% not hurting my chances at all because I'm catching diamonds. That's all I need to see for my evidence is I'm catching diamonds. So there we go. You know, that's the way it goes for me. But anyway, this is one spot. We just pulled out a nice gold for the purposes of this video. I'm going to show some other spots. This is one of my favorite spots now, but there are plenty of other spots. There's a spot right here. If you want to fish there as well, right here is another spot right here. You would probably have to come here, summon a vehicle and cross a bridge here and then over this way to fish that. Some of these places are a little bit out of the way. Now, that's why I also like fishing. There's a couple places I really like fishing the most. And that's right here, the Eisenhower Dam. You can fish right there. Uh, bear bot spot right there, very nice. Whoa. That's a big old tiger mask you just come over here and said, dang. That's a big old tiger mask right there. They just come over and said, uh, excuse me. I switched to a minnow. I was trying to catch this big old walleye I saw swimming around and okay. There's another goad for the burbot video. All right, guys, we're out here in a little fork in the river. Uh, pretty good burbot spot. Diamond location reported in the discord. Let's see what we've managed to hook it to. Not too big a one. Silver Burbot. 5.32 pounds. All right, here we've got another one. If we catch a few, we may bump our hook size up to at least a four. There's another silver. And guys, if you want to see again where we're at, we're out here east of Bannock's Knock as well. Mr. Fried Guys just caught a goad burbot. Where's he at? Let's look on the map and see if he's fishing in one of the known diamond locations. Yep, he's down at the dam. So guys, you spawn in at the dam here. Over here, you fish off the bank. Uh, Demonic caught one right along through here when I was fishing for Big Larry. This is where Big Larry is this week. A catfish there, Mr. Fried Guy. If you would, guys, do me a favor. Hit that like, subscribe, notify bell. We caught a, a gold burbot right off the bat, although it was during the day. But you can. You can catch them during the day my diamond was caught today during the day actually um now i highly recommend waiting until night they do bite more at night and i've got a liver on right now but it's one of those deals like uh, hey there's tj fishing uh, it's one of those deals where um if you want to fish for both put you a minnow on you know and again i would like to recommend well, we got something coming over, it looks like. I'd like to remind everybody, December 21st, we are having our subathon over on YouTube. Starting at 8 a.m. in the morning. Hope to see everyone there. Let's see what we've caught here. Uh, channel catfish. That'll work too. But December 21st, subathon, three minutes will be added per sub, 10 minutes per member, dollar a minute for the super chats and all that. First ever subathon, we're gonna put two hours on the clock, see how long we go. We'll start at 8 a.m. in the morning. And once again, guys, I wanna show you, we'll let that soak right here. All right, we've got one, 
two, spot location two is where I caught mine, sort of. I caught mine just to the north of that little spot right there in location two. So right there, right there. We caught some right here just a few minutes ago um, before we moved down to the dam, which is spot number three right here. And then there's number four. Where is spot number six? Oh, down here. So down here is spot number six, uh, right off from the dock. There you go. You can kind of see. Uh oh, I told you. I knew it. Here we go. Let's see what we've got. Just tab out, and that's when you another bird bot. Eight pound bird bot there. That's not a bad one at all. We just got 2200 XP, not from the bird bot, but I just leveled uh, the Capiton rod just got 2200 xp that's super sweet anyway guys thank you so much good spot here at the dam just because it's a diamond location spot does not mean it's a hot spot there have been several places like that where you go and yeah you can catch a diamond there but it may not be a place where you go and catch multiple fish of that species you know what i mean just because it's a diamond spot don't mean it's always a hot spot so remember that Thank you guys so much for watching the video. Let me know if it helps you. Let me know if you get you a diamond bird bot. I want to see pictures of it out there. Put them in my Discord. Thank you guys so much for watching. Merry Christmas to all and to all. A good night. We'll catch you on the next video.